Okay, Axle Flux, video two. Nine coils, each coil was wound like this. One with a counter down there. Clickety click. 65 turns. So nine coils, each coil, 65 turns, 14 gauge wire. Thickness of the stator is three quarters of an inch, and the coil sits inside just barely. So you can say that the coil is 0.7 of an inch. Have it added. So we have nine coils tied together in a um, star configuration. Output one, two, three. Rectified DC out. What am I putting out right now? We are putting out 12 volts. Well, it's 2 watts, but I don't care about that right now. It's 12 volts. So, 12 volts. Well, how many RPMs? Okay. Hundred and eighty two. So it's putting out twelve volts, twelve point seven five at hundred and eighty two RPM. One disc. I changed these to stainless steel. What a difference. So I'm putting in six volts at one point nine amp. I'm taking out 2 watts. I'm putting in 10 watts. I'm taking out 2 watts. Hmm. 8 watts in, 2 watts out. That's 25% efficiency. I got settled. So, so, anyway, the plan is to take this beast, don't get too close with the camera, and flip it over onto this beast and I better get 25 at 182 RPM that would actually give me what I want and this was done with the help of another hobbyist that showed me the way okay so the next video will be both together both discs and uh, we'll see what comes out of it just want to show you how I MacGyvered the whole thing here let's turn the power off <laughs> alright very simple as you can see I took a tread L motor and I put it through a table, if you want to call it, or a counter, and between the disc brake and the treadmill motor, I put magnets, so the disc is sticking to the magnets, so there's no bolts, there's nothing, so simply, I'll lift this sucker off, and it'll just come off, piece of cake, that's how you guys should do it, okay, see you in the next vid, bye.